Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content that I have on my channel. It is Saturday, uh, December the 9th, and our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day. And our devotion today is entitled Stand Up on the Inside. Our scripture comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1, and it reads, The wicked flee when no man pursues them, but the uncompromisingly righteous are bold as a lion. And of course, that's out of the Amplified Bible. Let's uh, hear how Joyce gets into this. I once heard the story of a little boy attending church with his mother, and he kept standing up at the wrong times. His mother repeatedly told him to sit down, and finally, she got pretty harsh with him about it, telling him emphatically, sit down now or you will be in trouble when we get home. The little boy looked at her and said, I'll sit down, but I'm still going to be standing up on the inside. Have you ever noticed that there is always someone in life trying to get us to sit down? Through the years, many people tried to hold me back from the call on my life. There were those who did not understand what I was doing or why I was doing it, so they judged me falsely. At times, their criticism and judgment made me want to sit down and forget about my vision from God. There were others who were embarrassed by having a lady preacher, in quotes, for a friend or relative, and they wanted me to sit down so their reputations would not be adversely affected. How sad. Many rejected me, and the pain of their rejected, rejection tempted me to sit down. But God was standing tall inside of me, and sitting down wasn't an option for me. He caused me to stand up on the inside and be determined to go forward, no matter what others thought, said, or did. It was not always easy, but I learned from my experience that being frustrated and unfulfilled due to being out of the will of God is much more difficult than pressing through all the opposition of other people. And that's one thing we need to understand fully. <clears throat> what she had mounting up against her was huge, monumental. You're talking about religious traditions and misinterpretations of God's word about women speaking in the pulpit. And, you know, we still hear stuff like that today. It's important that we understand that holding and embracing and being true to what God is leading you to do is far more important than other people's opinions. And as big as it seems to stand up against some, a force like that, it is much harder to go against God's will than it is to follow his will and let him pave the way. He's fighting for you. And if he's for you, who could possibly be against you? Keep that in mind when you're doing anything, okay? Standing up on the inside doesn't mean being rebellious or having an angry attitude. Please note that as well. You're not being rebellious or with an angry attitude toward those who don't understand us. It means having a quiet inner confidence that takes us through to the finish line. We're not in our flesh when we stand up against these things. We are firmly resolved within our spirit to do what God's led us to do. Not in my flesh to take a stand. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Confidence means knowing that despite what is happening outside, everything is going to be all right because God is with you. And when he is present, nothing is impossible. I don't have anything more to add. Unfortunately, I don't have a story aside from what you've already heard from me. I'm learning to hear the Lord's voice with greater confidence. And that gives me the ability to speak with greater boldness because I trust what he's saying to me. It leads me. It gives me direction. <clears throat> it gives me insight, helps me in how I pray for others and situations. And I trust that. And I tell the Lord, please ne let me never, ever become prideful about hearing your voice because we can, we can also miss it too. So our trust in him today, 
you can succeed at accomplishing all that God has for you to do. But trusting him, oh, by trusting him, you can keep standing up on the inside. Let's pray. Because I, we all need, we all need to know we're hearing God correctly and trusting him no matter how unknown the future is for us, knowing he's going to work it for our good. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word. Help us, Father, to stand up on the inside. No matter what's happening around us, no matter what kind of opposition seems to be coming up against us, if you are for us, who could possibly be against us? Solidify that within our spirit and help us, Lord, to walk forward with confidence, not in anger or with a bad attitude, but with the quiet confidence of knowing we are in obedience to what you've called us to do. Help us to be at peace, Lord God, if we're experiencing adversity. And Lord, we give you praise for leading us. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts that are willing to obey. We thank you, Father. Bless all those who are praying with me today. Give them that boost of confidence within their spirits in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. It is go time for my busiest day this year. I've got two parties to go to today, hence the festive attire. First one's at 10 o'clock, and then I'll be hopping into the car when that's finished. I've got my bags packed out there. My brain is going, don't forget this, don't forget this, don't forget this, because there's certain things I need to bring with me to the thing today, and there's certain things I need to load up for when we go out. So I've got to get all that together. Lord, thank you. Order my steps and be with me and help me not forget things and have things fall through the cracks. So you guys have a wonderful day. God is faithful to his word. I hope you have a great Saturday. Bye until next time.